All right, everybody, we're back with another unboxing, and today we're opening up Lyrical Monasterio Trick or Trick. So this is the Halloween-themed booster, even though we're getting it in February, but it came out in October for Japan. So the main key support cards we got here are Charmount, Sienna, and Farnell. So those are kind of like the new upgrades for War Beasts and like just extra, you know, multi-attack, restands, etc. On the back, we got Forsha, Ermina. So those are going to be the new support cards for those decks as well. And on top of that, in this set, we actually got some Bermuda Triangle stuff. So Bermuda Triangle has finally come to standard as a counter cards with Labrador and Pacifica support. And we're going to be opening up this box and see what we get. Just want to mention that before we open this, we are going to be doing a giveaway with this box right here. So we have two boxes, one to open and one to give out. Like always, we're gonna try and get this video up to 200 likes. And once it does, we'll go ahead and open up the competition for the giveaway. Be sure to leave a like, share the video with your friends so that they can also like the video. And once we get up to 200 likes, we'll release the update on Twitter or you know, we'll put it up in the community tab on YouTube so you guys can know that it's ready to go for your entry. So without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the unboxing. One more thing I almost forgot to mention before we get into the unboxing. Not only are we gonna be giving away a box of the Lyrical Monasterio set, but we're also gonna be giving away two additional prizes. We're giving out deck box and sleeve bundles for you Fennel and Ermina fans. So if you're interested in picking any of these up, these are gonna be additional prizes to the giveaway as well. So again, if this video can get up to 200 likes, we're gonna be opening up the giveaway and not only can you win a box, but you might have the chance to win some sleeves and deck boxes as well. Some might argue that's a little bit better than the box, but who am I to say? So thank you again to 50 Cards for sponsoring this giveaway and for giving us these products to give back to the community. If you haven't already, check out 50 Cards. They have a bunch of bundles, playset splits, sleeves, deck boxes, everything you need for Cardfight Vanguard. They also have stuff for Shadowverse. So if you're interested or play Shadowverse, please check them out for that as well. And you can get an additional 5% off when you use code Nexus at checkout. And without further ado, we're just gonna go ahead and jump right into the unboxing. Whoosh. So let me just grab something real quick that I can open these up with. Go ahead and uh, just pop that open. We got our main box. It's got our little little dress thing. You know, typical stuff advertising bushy, bushy things. And our box topper. Looks like there's a couple of cards in there. So just open that up. Whoa, come on. Let's get that out of there. Okay, what we got? Aim for the Horizon Pile. Uh, Black Wings. Okay, Black Wings support. We got Vanguard Celestial. This unit can attack a grade three or greater Vanguard from the back row. It's a lot of back row attack I'm noticing from uh, Lyrical. Gazio Prince, Meredith. Uh, when this unit attack hits a Vanguard, look at top seven. Uh, search for the one order card, reveal it, put it in your hand, and shuffle your deck. So pretty good generic stuff, Blackwing and generic order searching support. Now we're going to go ahead and open up our main booster packs. So we got two, 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 four, eight, and that should be 16. Yep, give us a fun little shuffle for no absolutely good reason. Now we got this going, let's go ahead and open some packs. Oh, something shiny back there already. Uh, this is the Vanel starter. Um, very interesting artwork choice indeed. Grade one, grade one. The starter for uh, Sienna. I, I love the the bag. It's really funny. A little snake in there too. It's cute. Claw did Claw Claw tilled. I cannot read words. Single rare and oh, it's a double art. Uh, Rusing vocal. Lewison, Pacifica support. So at the end of the battle, this boosted, retire this unit, choose it to two Pacificas in your drop and return them to your deck. Shuffle it if you chose two cards, counter charge. Okay, there's only two Pacifica cards. So it's like the main grade three and like the one that, you know, puts itself in the back row center. So the fact that you have a way to like recycle the Pacifica cards is actually really helpful. So we're gonna set those off to the side, go into our next pack. Bubble Soap Garden, Trick or Treat, uh, Trick, sorry, Trick and Treat, uh, which is the Fennel support. So Fennel lets you play up to three orders. So you can play up to three Trick or Treats. Um, if you play it one time, uh, your opponent chooses a rear guard and they put it in the bottom of their deck. If they don't, you draw. 
If you do it two times, you get to draw a card and counter charge. If you play three trick or treats, or trick and treats, God, choose up to one grade three or less from your drop, you can call it to the rearguard circle. So the idea is to like run all 16 and then you just keep playing orders out the wazoo and you know kind of go from there uh what we got pretty demacord and normal order card uh fox girl front trigger uh more trigger treater draw triggers grade one for a trick and treat um and when this is returned for hand from your rear during your main phase you can draw a card choose your vanguard to get 5k so that could probably be like prism a support card if you want um but that was it for that pack there's definitely something shiny back there. Pacifica support, Sienna support, uh, Levu source. Uh, this was the uh, this is the Charmount support, Sienna grade two for the ride line, uh, Prism support card, and for a double R, uh, Pacifica support card when this is placed on rear. Look at top seven of your deck, choose up to one Pacifica, put into your hand, shuffle the deck if you did not reveal, you can kind of charge to get your cost back. Uh, when your other unit attacks from the back row center, so your Pacifica rear guard, this gets 5k. And then, woo! Yo! FFR Charmo. Wow! Look at that! That's really, really cool. Uh, so Charmant's effect is choose of the two, grade two or less with the uh, Livres Soyuz Soyuz. I have no idea what that says. In their card names from your soul and call them to rear, this gets 5k. When it attacks while not boosted, choose three of your grade two or less rear guards with Livis to use it different card names. Increase or decrease their power to match this unit's power. If this unit's power is 33k or greater, your opponent's vanguard is great and your opponent's vanguard is grade three or greater. So blast two. Um, until the end of turn, the rear guard in the back row of this column. Uh, can attack and it performs drive checks, so increased drive checks and power. This is a really, really, really nice foiling. I'm gonna have to find a sleeve for this in a sec. We'll put you in the uh, the Babzargra sleeve for now. Keep you in there. Very, very nice. All right, and uh, yeah, we'll just uh, keep it going. Open that up. Something else is shiny back there. Uh, we got our starter this is actually a, like this is a nice diesel decent starter i like i like the little black kitty in there it's cute sienna grade one for the ride line pacifica support sienna support uh charmout support uh midale support and there's uh forsha so uh forsha's effect is kind of basically just about you know multi-attacking restanding so um it's all about cards with friend so if you have another unit in the same column as this unit, uh, they become friends. Uh, it's kind of like uh, Harmony. And um, uh, if you have three or more friends, this gets an extra drive. So you're able to do where this is triple drive and it restands with single drive. So this is actually a really, really good kind of like, you know, boss card. And if you Persona Ride, you can change the effect instead of having to discard another Forcha, you can just kind of bless one and discard a car any card from your hand. So you can still, you know, do the Persona Ride. And during this fight, this card is also regarded as having the same name as Mimish Forsha. So you can, you know, back to back Persona Ride, which is nice. So dress up is a pretty cool effect there. And uh, wow, we're, we're kind of just blowing through all the, the fun stuff in this box. It's keeping it going. Starter, read one, crit trigger. That's actually kind of cute. More trick and treats. The heal trigger looks really nice. And another double R, this is for trick and treat. When this is placed on rear during the main phase, if you played three or more orders, Soul Blast one, choose a normal unit with a different name for this unit, call to rear or from drop. When this attacks a van, when this unit's attack hits a vanguard, search your deck for up to one trick and treat, put in your hand. Okay, so that's not bad. I kind of like the, the pressure. I just wish it didn't have to hit vanguard. That'd be cool. Just when this hits, search for trick and treat. That'd be cool. Uh, all right, keeping it going. More uh, Fennel, so that's for the ride line. Prism support card, uh, Blitz order support, generic card, trick and treat support. Oh, this is for the ride line. Over trigger, cool. Demonic Fever Garvera. That, this is a really cool card art. I, I like the, the blue flare and the, the ghosty aspect to it. But it's just another lyrical card. It does the same thing all the other ones do. It just gives uh, 
for the rest of the fight, all your rear guards get uh, 10K power, which is like cracked. This is a really nice artwork for that. So that's pretty cool. And uh, just a generic uh, Alestial uh, Wings support card. So there's still Alestial support in this. So all previous lyrical decks can get a little little tiny bonus, which is nice. Do do when your other unit attacks from the back row center column, return this to your hand. So that actually could be Pacifica support as well with Charmout. A Pacifica support card, uh, Generic, when this attack hits a vanguard, it bounces. Starter, Sienna grade one, or yeah, Sienna grade one. Uh, if you have a grade three vanguard with Feltrosa, this gets intercept. And a friend card, that's for um, Forcia as well. It's another little disappointing pack there, but we still got plenty of pack to go. Going through it really quick with this one. Sienna support, a Pacifica support card, and a double R. When this unit attacks a grade three or greater vanguard, put a card from your hand into soul. Look at the top two cards of your deck, choose a card from among them, put it into your hand, put the rest on the bottom of your deck. All right, pretty cool. All right, generic card, generic card, same name. If your right deck has a face of card, the same name. Oh, okay, so like the cards that like put, you know, cards from your, your drop zone or your soul back into the right deck. Uh, that's Fennel, the uh, trick and trick card. So this this main thing is just about like having up to 16 copies of trick and treat. And then based if you play, if you are able to play three or more of them in the turn, you can increase your crits in your front row gets 2K for each trick or treat in your drop. And since you can have sec up to like 16 copies, that power can go kind of insane because if you have five in your drop, that's that's already plus 10k, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Um, so that that's a pretty decent effect for the on attack, but it's very, very simple. Just like trick and treat, and then, you know, kind of do a little bit of board control with your opponent having to put rear guards away. Drawing cards is nice, so very simple deck. Uh, and frame rare, a decorate shiny L's. When this is placed somewhere from half, you have Vanguard with Leafa. Choose up to one grade two or greater card with different name from this in your hand called the back row rear and it gets boost. And if you call the card, you can perform the following. If it's the main phase draw, if it's the battle phase, this gets 10K. It's not bad, nice little card there. All right, we still got a few packs to go through still. So we're just kind of kind of burn through these if we can. So Charmout support, Sienna support, uh, more Charmout support, different card name stuff, cursed play a uh, generic card with shield and that's it. All right, nothing fun there, but we're, we're still going. Finel again, uh, da, 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 generic card, Pacifica support, Hex hits a Vanguard bounce, Petralka support. We got a Pacifica. So this is Planet Idol Pacifica. This is the one where you call it to the back row and it can attack from the back row if it's in the center rear and it gets 10K. So it's kind of similar to Graham Grace. At the end of the battle that this attacked, if you have a Vanguard Pacific on its name, put this into your soul, choose one of your units and it gets 5K until the end of turn. And if you put a card from the back row into the soul, you can draw a card. Uh, Multi-attacking because Pacifica lets you call cards from the deck. And then this lets you attack from the back row. So there's a lot of multi-attacking with the Pacifica deck. So pretty cool. And the 10K power is nice. Keeping it going. Maybe we'll get the other uh, Pacifica or maybe we'll get Labrador. That'd be, that'd be pretty cool. Prism, Labrador, Starter, Ride Deck, Generic Card, I think, and Michu Card, and that's it. Woo! Oh, there we go. Clean, clean pull there. Girl eating chocolate. Uh, an actual mermaid this time. That's crazy. Whoa, another mermaid. That's crazy. Uh, Labrador, Pacifica, or Prism Support, sorry. Willista, and a PG. Uh, not my favorite PG art. I don't. I just don't know what it is. But I do like the devil wings and the horns and stuff. I just, nah, I feel like there are better PG arts, but we got a new PG for uh, Halloween stuff, which is cool. And then, okay, this is the last three packs. So this is third to last. And so far we have three triple R's and a frame FFR. So I think that's that should be like all of our triple R support. Uh, starter, I like that. That's really cool. That's, that's me. That's literally me. On Halloween. How do they get away with throwing a switch in there? That's really cool. That's literally me on Halloween. Just after a full day of just like grubbing and having fun, just play some little video games at home. And another double R, this is for Michu. Uh, choose a cannonball card from your drop, put it into your hand. If your damage zone is three or less, or 
If your damage zone has three or more face down cards and you did not counter charge, you can counter charge. Okay. If your cannonball was put into the order zone, from the order zone into your drop, this gets 10k. All right, cannonball support. Second to last pack. All right, Charmout, Bride Line, generic card, Charmout support, Blitz stuff, uh, Ride Line card that's a mermaid, and uh, the, the Kyoka, and Charmout stuff. All right, that's probably it. I don't expect this last pack to be anything crazy, but here we go. Last pack Ride Line, Ride Line. Ride line, generic card, more Charmout support. Got a prism card, wow. Double R, when this is placed on rear from hand or found the guard circle for hand, if you have a Vanguard Labrador, this gets 5K power and shield. At the end of the battle that this attacked, if you have a Vanguard with Labrador in its name, soul last one, return this to your hand, choose up to one of your rear guards with prism and return it to your hand. So it lets you like double bounce. And then with Pacifica, or sorry, with Labrador, you can call additional prism cards. We got another triple R. Wow, I'm actually kind of shocked. That's cool. Uh, when this is placed on rear, counter blast one. Search your deck for up to one grade two card with Livre Soyuz, uh, Charmount support card. Reveal it, put it into your hand, and shuffle your deck. If you have a Vanguard, grade three, grade a Vanguard with Livre Soyuz uh, in its name. Rest this unit. Choose a card from your drop, put it into your soul. Choose one of your Vanguards, and it gets 5k. So these are all the support cards. Uh, revolved around Charmount, um, and Charmount lets you have rear guards that can perform drive checks. So having um, extra power with your van, and then your you know back row is going to be doing some support there with more trigger checks. And it seems like your the whole point is to get Charmant's power up to 33 anyway. So this is a really good support card for that. That was it. That was the the box. So we're just gonna kind of go over the poles. Starting off with the double R's, we got. Prison card, Michi card, a frame rare. I think I only got one frame rare, surprisingly. Uh, Roseanne, OT. This is Trick or Treat support, um, Pacifica support, and Pacifica support. So I got some decent amount of Pacifica support. For Triple R's, we got that pretty dope grade one. We got the support Pacifica grade three, the one you call to the back row. We got Fennel, the main boss grade three for Trick and Treat. We got Forsha, the new uh, overlord for Lyrical, and then we got an FFR Charmout, which is really, really dope. This is so cool. I like this a lot. That is basically it for the unboxing. But before we get into other stuff and closing out the video, just a quick reminder, we are doing the giveaway for the booster box. But not only the booster box, but we're also giving away some additional stuff. So thanks to 50 Cards, uh, they were generous enough to provide me with some additional accessories for you lyrical trick and treat fans out there. So we got Fennel and Ermina uh, deck boxes and not just deck boxes to go with them. We also got sleeves as well. So on top of the fact that we're doing the booster box, giveaway. We're also, yeah, let me, let me just zoom out a bit. So not only are we doing the booster box giveaway, we're also doing the giveaway for the uh, Mina box with sleeves, the, the nail box with sleeves. So these are going to be kind of bundled together. So there's going to be three prizes total. So these, these are bundled together. These are bundled together. And then someone's going to get a box as well. So like I said, if this video can get up to 200 likes, we'll go ahead and open up the giveaway so that you guys are able to sign up and enter for one of these three really, really cool prizes. Thank you to 50 Cards for supporting us for these unboxings and for the giveaways. They're super great. They have amazing customer service and they have all the bundles you need to upgrade your deck. So if you already picked up your Lyrical bundles from 50 Cards, you already know that you would have gotten 5% off when you use code Nexus on your check out. So feel free to look them up for sleeves, deck boxes, play mats, singles, and bundles. The biggest thing, in my opinion, is the bundles. So pick up your Divine Z bundles for the nation splits, pick up your booster boxes, and also pick up your start decks if you want to pick those up as well. So they got everything you need for Vanguard and also Shadowverse. So thank you again to 50 Cards for sponsoring us for this video and for the giveaways. And thank you to everyone who's watching the video. Be sure to leave a like so that we can get up to 200 and start that giveaway. My name is Richard, and I'll see you all in the next one. Bye.